Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys my personal website. I wanted to give you guys a little fast. Uh, this is my personal website. This is the homepage. This is the about page. This is running in my local machine. So that's me. Boom. I guess you guys can check it out on your own time. Read about myself. You can send me a message right there. And this is my portfolio here. This is running on my local machine. It doesn't have an image, but in, towards the end, I'll show you guys my uh, what the actual website looks like with the images. But anyway, so if you guys click on each one of these links, it actually gives you the GitHub, the link. So it gives you the code. So if you guys want to download it, look at it, you know, whatever you want to do, you can actually go to the website and click on it. So see, goes to the website and it's actually on the server. Uh, all right. So here you can actually search by using JavaScript. You can do Netflix, see, post it on Netflix. Uh, let me see, templates. So these right here, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript templates, this is just templates. Uh, here, let me see. You want to do single page application, that's that. So right there, this is coming from the back. Uh, this is this is using JavaScript, calling the web API, and uh, it's pulling up from the data, from the uh, SQL server. So what I wanted to do, uh, let me show you guys. So when I click on detail page, this is the code right here. I'm using C sharp. So this time I want to, so I end up creating a controller that pull that's calling my APIs, which is right here, right here. So I already got one for get all the, uh, all the portfolios and I got one to get individually one. I want to show you guys. So I got Postman on, this is running on my local machine. So if we do a call to this local host, API portfolio, which is uh, right here. All of that. So see if you guys take a look over here, it says friends website. So see friends website. This is actually coming from the back end. So what I want to do is I want to consume these, this uh, data using JavaScript. So right now I'm actually, what I got, this is the detail page. I already got it in the front end, I already got the JavaScript. So I wanted to, wanted to show you guys how to use the fetch to get the data. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna comment this out. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, so I wanna comment this out, let me save it. Let me reload the page. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna go to the detail page. Now, because I comment that out, it shouldn't give me no, see, there's nothing there now. So I'm gonna use JavaScript to go ahead and call the API, which is right here, see? And I can call individually. That's number one, see? Number one, all right, cool. So now we know the backend, and this is my API. So what I'm gonna do, uh, where is visual, okay, right here. So over here, the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and use JavaScript. So the first thing I want to do, I want to show you guys. So in order to create the detail page, you're going to have to have an ID. And I'm going to, you guys are going to see why. So the first thing I want to do, I want to call this ID. So I want to do, I'm going to give it, I want to give a constant for this. Actually, no, let's rename this one. Let's call this one for folio ID. This one's going to be document that get element by ID. This one is going to be ID. So what we want to do is get the value. So every time you click on the page, you're going to let's constant console log this ID. Make sure it's make sure we're getting this ID. 
there. All right, so let me show you what I mean by we got to make sure we get the ID. So let's reload the page. Let's open the console. See, we get an ID. So if we change it to two, see, number two. All right, cool. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Next, oh, also what I end up doing is you're going to need a div. Uh, I give it an ID called force. So let's go ahead and call that one. So constant. Let's call this one port list. This one we're going to do document. Dot get element by ID. This one is going to be ports. This one, we don't need the value. So the next thing, we're going to create a function. Let's give it a constant no for details because this is my detail page just make it async let's do the arrow function and here what we want to do is we want to do the try catch so that way in their case there's an error we can catch it all right so next thing we want to do catch as error, and we want to console log in case we get an error. You can see it on the console. All right. So this is where it's going to be. We're going to give the uh, we're going to create a constant. It's going to be the response. This is going to be where the fetch. We're going to do our fetch to call the API. So the API is going to be. This is the API portfolio and this one here we're going to pass this id right here so oh let's do the back ticks that we we can pass the id all right portfolio id so now with a log respond And we gotta call out this function. Let's call that out. Let's call that out so that way we can cancel this response. So let's go here. Oh, it's not defined. Let me make sure what's going on with this. No, hold on. Make sure, don't forget to spell your stuff correctly. All right, so I did not spell it correctly. I was missing the S. All right, let me load this again. All right, here it is. This is the response. I got a 200, that means it's good. So now that we have the response, let's go ahead and get the, let's go ahead and get the data, the JSON data. All right, so now that we have that, let's create another one. Let's create a constant core characters. You can call it whatever. We want to await this because it's already it's coming async. So we want to await this. The response is going to be JSON. JSON response. Oh, what's going on with this thing? Right here. All right, cool. Sorry, I forgot the T over here. My const constant, I didn't realize that. So make sure you make sure you spell correctly. All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and console this log again. Let's console the log four characters. Let's make sure we're getting that data. Make sure we get that JSON. So let's go ahead and reload that page. Okay, here's the data. See how it has the ID. I'm in page two. So let's change it to one and see what happens. Yeah, you see it's one. So, so that's what I mean by getting the ID. So the ID, when you're passing this, when you're reloading the page, you're calling the ID is actually changing dynamically. All right, so now that we have that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create a function, which I'm gonna call it display ports. 
wrap it up over here. All right, so this one, I'm gonna create it outside this year. So this one is gonna be constant display, display the ports. This one, we're gonna pass the port. Again, we're gonna do the RO function. So here we're gonna create a we're gonna create a constant HTML string. string. And this one we're gonna do the backticks, and we're gonna grab the data that I was using before, which is here. I'm gonna grab that data all the way to here. That's it right here. Perfect, right here. So make it nicely, nice and evenly, so that way you can read your code. So here, close that out. All right. So next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna fix this shortly. All right. So the next thing we wanna do, remember I created a div over here with called ports, right here which is over here already calling that out. But uh, so I named it port list. So what you want to do is right inside here, we want to do port list inner HTML equals to HTML string, which is right here. So what we're doing is we all this here we're going to pass it into the port list which is right here well port list is right here the idea is right here so all this data is going to go in here all right so now that we have that let's go ahead and fix this all right so here it's going to be called port that name let's go ahead and get rid of that this to sign for that type. And here, this is detail. Don't forget the dollar sign for the detail. This is detail. Details. There you go. This one here is going to be language or. Okay, all of these right here, I'm getting it from here. See, details, language, code link, link, all of that. So I'm what I'm doing is whatever is coming here, I'm passing it through, I'm calling it with the JavaScript. Uh, let me go back over here. So. Code link. We're almost finished, guys. We almost finished. This is so. Here is port that link. I think it's bad link. Let me double check this. Port, yeah, link right here. All right, so that is that. All right, cool. So we got. All. Let's fix the one for the image. Here is going to be for that. Let's go back over here. It's called portfolio photo. All right, portfolio photo. Portfolio. All right, cool. So that's that. I know my picture is coming from. Uh, maybe yours is going to be different. Mine is, I know it's already here in the content block. Okay, so mine is going to be block. That's the location where the images are coming from. Okay, so that's that. Let me make sure I got name, type, detailed language, port link. Okay, cool. I got that. Go ahead and save it. Let me make sure it works. Let me go ahead and reload the page. Make sure we don't not getting any errors. Oh, uh, setting. Let me see what I messed up here. 
give me one second to check it out. So, let me see why I'm getting this error. Hold on. Let's make sure that I misspell anything. All right. Ports. Ah, here it is. Here's my issue. See how I, I declare an ID is called ports, and here I only call it port. That was my issue. All right, let's reload that page. Oh, cool. It's working again. All right, cool. Let's make sure the. Yep, that's it. It's working. Let's make sure it goes to the website. Yep, it goes to the website. Let's go back to the list. Let's make sure this is ID one. So that means that is the first one. Let's do number two. Yeah, that's two. So it is changing. So let me make sure there's no error. That's just the image. Okay, cool. So that's it, guys. So it is working. Thanks to Postman, I was able to, you know, make sure my backend was working. So my API, this is running on my local. I want to show you guys. So this, this is my APIs. This is for the portfolio. And I have, let me see. Let me go to the views, portfolio. See, I have that, the whole front end. All right. So I already got it here, guys. This is it. This is the website. So let me show you guys with the images. A portfolio. All right. So this is what the actual page. This is already in. This is already live. So if you guys want to check that out, the website is there. So this, this is the images. The code is actually each one of these have the code. So if you guys want to go and mess with, you know, try to make it better, play with it, whatever. Oh, you can actually go to the page. You can actually, this one here is using Angular. So you guys can check it out. You can register. Uh, you can actually download the code from my GitHub if you guys want to play with it. Yes, yeah, right there. So each one of these templates, you can actually get the code from there. So see this one here, you can actually go to the page. You can do that. See, it works for that. So this is using JavaScript. Cool. So that's the. You can actually go to my blog if you guys want to write a comment. So you can do a bunch of things there. You can actually email me if you guys want or something, whatever. So this is my personal. I'm still working on it. This is my personal website, guys. All right. So hopefully, guys, you liked it. So I just wanted to show you how to do the fetch. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm, I'm still working on my website, trying to add, add up more stuff, you know, little by little. So, all right, see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.